Major technologies such as TypeScript, Dino, and Prettier have embraced ECMAScript modules, marking a shift in the web development landscape from CommonJS to ESM. In this video, I will show you how you can easily migrate your own NPM package from CommonJS to ESM. To begin, it's important to confirm that you are working with an up-to-date TypeScript version, ideally 5.2 or newer. There have been breaking changes in the TypeScript compiler configuration, especially with regard to Node.js related settings. Additionally, ensure that you are using a recent Node version. I recommend using at least Node.js version 18 to benefit from the added support for JSON import assertions. Once you've made sure you have the necessary requirements in place, simply add type module to your package.json file. This tells Node that your package is using the new ES module syntax instead of the older CommonJS syntax. Afterwards, change the module property in your tsconfig file to node-next so that the TypeScript compiler will emit JavaScript code using ESM syntax as well. We will now see a warning that we also have to match our module resolution property accordingly. So we also set it to node-next. Let's trigger the compiler using npx tsc to see what happens. It will show us numerous errors as the ES module syntax requires us to define an explicit file extension. Looking at the code, we will see that all our export statements are read and we have to add a .js extension in order to make the errors go away. This may sound strange as we are using TypeScript, but don't worry, this is the way and approved by Microsoft. When working with code originating from entry files, we're even obliged to append an index.js suffix. This task becomes quite intensive, as you can probably tell. Thankfully, a solution comes in the form of a tool called TS2ESM, which addresses all these issues for us. We can install TS2ESM globally with the command npm install minus global TS2ESM. Once installed, we just have to run it in the root directory of our TypeScript project and point it to our tsconfig file. At this point, the tool will traverse through our source code files and automatically fix the broken import and export statements. When checking further, we will notice that our export declarations have been fixed. They all have an explicit .js extension. When inspecting the test code, we can also see another benefit of TS2ESM. It added so-called import assertions to import JSON files as modules. When we execute the TypeScript compiler again, there won't be any errors anymore. It will create JavaScript code in the dist directory as expected. When we run the code with plain node, we'll see that it works without any issues as well. The last thing to check is whether our unit tests work, and they do. They run perfectly and we see 100% code coverage. Just a quick heads up. The test runner also needs to support ECMAScript modules. I suggest using WeTest because it comes with built-in TypeScript support, ESM capabilities, and an API that makes it easy to migrate from Jest or Jasmine. With ESM compatibility achieved, we can update our target platform to transpile TypeScript code to a more recent version of ECMAScript. Additionally, we may consider updating our JavaScript API definitions. We also don't need to include ES module interop anymore, as this is set to true by default when our module is set to node next or node 16. Make also sure that your CI environment is on node version 18 to ensure that your whole build pipeline is in sync. Check your GitHub actions to validate that. If you are ready to test your ECMAScript module conversion, Andrew Branch's are the types wrong CLI wrapper has got you covered. It analyzes your NPM package contents for issues with their TypeScript types. In case of any other error, check out typescript.tv. It lists most of the compiler errors along with their solutions. You will also find many helpful migration guidelines in its blog. And if you are wondering why there are so many new file extensions such as MJS or CJS, that's because you can mix and match CommonJS and ESM, but that's a story for another video. So long, Happy coding.